So this next part um, is a review of uh, domain and range of a function. And before we begin, let's talk about what a function is. A function is a relation such that for every input, right, there is exactly one output, right? So basically, a function cannot have any repeating, no repeating x values, okay? That is the number one thing you have to know, that a function cannot have um, repeating x values, which means, right, to test to determine if a graph is a function or not, we use the vertical line test. Meaning, if we have a graph, right, doesn't matter what it is, we, we draw a bunch of vertical lines. And as long as these vertical lines don't cross the graph more than once, we know it's a function. Now the domain and range basically tells us where the function exists on the x-axis and where the function exists on the y-axis, right? Which means the domain is your set of x values and range is the set of y values. Remember, okay, when we do domain and range, you have to remember we have infinity and negative infinity, right? And when we include a value, we use a square bracket, right? If it's not included, we use round brackets, okay? Anytime we use infinity, we use round brackets, okay? Let's look at a couple of examples here. So now, in this first example, where does this first function exist on the x-axis? Well, we know the function starts here and it follows here, right? So when we go to find the domain, first off, does it pass the vertical line test? Yes. Therefore, this is a function. Now, the domain, what x value does it start at? It starts at negative 4, and since it's a closed dot, we put a square bracket, and it goes all the way to what x value here? Now it goes all the way to an x value of 8. Again, closed dot, so it's a square bracket. Now the range. Remember, for the range, we go bottom to top. So what is the lowest y value on this graph? Starts at negative 8 on the bottom, and it goes all the way up to positive 8 on the y-axis. So it's basically this is the lowest y value, this is the highest y value. So this function, every y value in between negative 8 and 8 exists somewhere on this graph. So the next example, is this a function? Does it pass the vertical line test? Yes. Therefore, it is a function. Now, the domain of this function, right, if I look at the x values it starts at, right, where does it start on the x-axis? Well, if it goes down to the left forever and ever and ever, that means it's starting at negative infinity. It doesn't stop. It keeps going to, to negative infinity. So it's a round bracket, negative infinity, and to the right, it ends at positive 4. Since this is a closed dot, we include it with the square bracket. Now the range. Since it goes down forever and ever, where does it start? It starts at negative infinity. And it goes all the way up to what is the highest y value on this graph? 3. And since 3 is included on the graph, we put a square bracket. So remember, always understand that the, the range is the lowest and the highest y value. Okay? Now, letter C. Right away, this here, it doesn't pass the vertical line test. If I draw this vertical line test, it crosses the graph at two different points. Therefore, it is not a function. Okay? Technically, we don't find the domain in range if it's not a function. But just to kind of get an idea of what it's about, let's let's take a look at it. We know the furthest to the left, or the 
the x value on the left, it starts at negative 5. And these arrows point to the right forever and ever, so we know it goes to positive infinity. The range, this graph shows it goes down forever and ever and up forever and ever. So we know it goes starts at negative infinity on the bottom and goes all the way to positive infinity on the top. Okay. Now, if you're given a table, remember this data is discrete, right? So when we look at it, this table doesn't include, you know, 1.5 or 1.25. Therefore, you know, we have to write the domain and range range um, as a relation. So to test if it's a function or not, if I look here, do any of my x values repeat? And the answer to that is yes. Now, does this x value have the same or a different output? Since it has different outputs right away, this is not a function. Okay. Now the next one, if I look at the x values here, do any of them repeat? No. Remember, it's okay for the y values to repeat, not the x values. For every input, there's exactly one output. So this is a function. The domain, remember, this is discrete data, and it's just each individual x value you see here. All right, so the domain would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and then 12. My range is just going to be the set of y values. So 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. Okay. Now the last one here. When I look at it, this is a relation given to you, right? So if I look at the x values, do any of these repeat? No. Therefore, this is a function. The domain of this function is 2, 6, 10, 14, and the range of this function is basically the y values here, right? So that would be 4, 8, 12, and 16. Okay, so this is a quick review of domain and range. Um, go ahead and, you know, it'll be on the homework, so go ahead and attempt it on the homework.